Hello everyone, our school has organized a virtual science exhibition due to a heavy rise in Omicron cases in our country as well as world. So today I Karima of class 6 close 1 is going to tell you about what is a physical change and a chemical change and how can we distinguish between them with our simple experiments. For this one should require a burning candle and a paper. Firstly, I will tell you what is a physical change and a chemical change. Physical change in which no new substance is formed is called a physical change. Chemical change in which new substance is formed is called a chemical change. Physical change is a temporary change and chemical change is a permanent change. Physical change is a reversible change and chemical change is an irreversible change. Let's get started with our first experiment. That is steering of paper. Justify whether it is a physical change or a chemical change. No new substance is formed and by pasting it we can get the same paper again. So it is a physical change. But in the case of burning of paper, it is something different. Let's see. See this ash carefully. It is a new substance that is the paper burnt out changes into ash so this is a chemical change and it cannot be reversed back into its original form so it is paper is a physical change and burning of paper is a chemical change i will make things more clear with this second experiment that is burning of a candle look at this wax that has melted due to heat The melted wax can be refreezed again into the same wax and here no new substance is formed. Hence, the melting of wax is a physical change. Then the second experiment is burning of a candle. Here new substance is formed that is water and carbon dioxide. So it is a chemical change. I hope now things are more clear to you and you can distinguish between a physical change and a chemical change. Thank you and keep on experimenting. Good morning ma'am. My name is Mukund from class 6 R2. Ma'am, I have made rain water the harvesting. The collection of water from the roof top or street is called rain water harvesting. First the rain comes and collect in the collection tank. Then it goes into the filter tank so it could be filtered and then it goes in the well so in the well there is a purest form of water thank you ma'am mm. good morning teachers and my dear friends i am prateek nagar from 6 plus 1 i am explaining you a quick alarm this is buzzer this is switch and this is 9 volt battery the buzzer black wire is connected with this copper wire and this nut bolt copper wire attached with black wire of battery. Let's switch on. And when earthquakes comes, that nut bolt will touch, a, touch it and is bu and buzzer is buzzing. Thank you. Hello teachers and all my friends. So I am Manj from class sixth. Class sixth. I can explain you what a cycle. When the when the sun is goes to water goes to water it it evaporates. So this process is called evap. So, so cloud so evaporation. This process is called evaporation. So so evaporation makes clouds and clouds made heavy rain. Then then the rain flow it flow it on the plants and the plants and the trees so this process is called evapor this process is called aspiration thank you good morning teachers and all my dear fellow students i am one of class 6 rose one standing here to tell you about my model this is stethoscope this is made by waste material first cut the bottle half make a hole on the top of the bottle and fit 
the pipe tightly and tape it. Take one paper and fit into inside the bottle so the sound of our heartbeat get clear. Cover the bottle with the balloon. It also helps to measure our heartbeat rate pulses like this. Thank you and have a nice day. I have this is also six star six. I am present here for my science model. This is the white mill. This is the hut. The white mill are four types. Tower mill, smoke mill, fan mill, post mill. Do you know what is white mill? A white mill is a structure used for harness. Used for harness the power of wind by by purpose of by purpose of Grading grains, pumping water, and generating electricity. Do you know what is name of first discover? Do you know what is first name of first discover of white mill? The name of first discover white mill is Bumbo Kanak William Kanak Bumbo. The do you know what is height of white mill? The height of white mill was two hundred forty-six point five meter. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I am Kashish from Six Star Two. Today, I am presenting water cycle project. Water cycle, also called hydrology cycle, cycle that involves the continuous circulation of water, the earth atmosphere system. In the many process involved the in the water cycle, the most important are evaporation, transpiration, condensation, precipitation. and run off all thought the total amount of within the cycle remains essentially constant it distribution among the various processes is continuously ch- changing thank you good afternoon all of you today i hamsika tell you about my science project i want to show it my torch Good afternoon, everybody. I am Vans. This is my science project. First, take one glass of water and fill in bottle. Now, water is fill in glass. Take one balloon and blow it. Now, balloon is fixed. Now, water will come through this tube into glass.